You are now listening to the Gospel of Alex. Alex, drop those scriptures. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of the Elite Fleet. And I wanted to talk really quick about this tweet that's gone viral, mainly because of women, but somewhat because of men, too, where this guy tweeted out why he cut off his friends. Because to me, it was super unmasculine and very feminine, this whole tweet. That's why I said it's mainly women that have made it going viral. And I just want to say, guys come up to me all the time and they say modern women this and modern women that. And women today don't cook and they don't clean and they don't reciprocate. They just expect you to give, give, give. And I keep telling you guys, in the words of Patrice O'Neill, everything is your fault. See, we're not going to do what chicks do, which is just keep blaming the opposite sex. No, we're going to look at what we can do. We're going to look at how we can improve. And a lot of y'all's problem, and I've said this before, and this whole situation is going to help explain it, right? Because, damn, that transformer was loud as hell. But this whole situation is going to help explain it. Why I say a lot of you guys' problem comes from a lack of masculinity. It has nothing to do with women. Women are women. They're the same as they've always been. They still cook. I've shown that multiple times on this channel. They'll still reciprocate. I've shown women taking me to dates multiple times on this channel. They're still nurturing. They're still caring. You guys are lacking masculinity. And the agenda is to make you guys more feminine so that women can run out over you. But what you guys fail to realize is... Women might be saying to you, because it's part of the agenda, that they want you to be softer. They want you to be kinder, be more feminine, emotionally intelligent, and all that other nonsense. But the reality is, when you look at the men that they're dealing with, when you look at the men they're attracted to, it's never what they're telling you to be. It will never be a soft, docile, emotional man. It just won't, because that's against biology. It's out of order. And if they are dating that man, they're probably cheating on him with someone masculine, or he's in a sexless marriage because she can't get turned on by him and that's your main problem right so i want to break this down and explain to you guys exactly why i'm saying this was feminine behavior and the wrong way to handle it right and i also want to give you guys an example of how women manipulate you into believing that this is masculine and having this level of emotion is the right thing to do but it's not all right so make sure y'all watch this whole video come on break down a woman's response to this and why i'm telling you guys that this is not how you want to be viewed and this is not how you want to move so with that being said, let's get into it. So what the man said is, and I quote, he said, I just blocked indebted friendships with four of my homeboys. I had back surgery literally a whole month ago, and not one of those niggas checked on your boy. I ain't say shit. I just blocked and let it be what it is. Niggas wasn't my real friends. Now, some of y'all might be thinking, well, Alex, how come that's not masculine? What's wrong? I'm about to break it down, all right? First of all, look at this picture. <laughs> now, just starting with that picture. Does that look like a masculine man to you? Bro, got his head tilted at the 45 degree angle. Y'all know that little angle like this that women always use to make their jawline look crisper and stuff? Bro, I got the 90 degree feminine selfie angle popping. He's making duck lips, and it looked like he had lip gloss, right? So his whole demeanor, before you even pay attention to what he said, his whole demeanor screams feminine. His whole demeanor does not give a masculine the word. That's just me being honest with you. Now let's break down what he said, right? Because again, it's the women who made this go viral because they're trying to be understanding. I want you guys to understand something. As soon as I seen this tweet, right? Because again, it went viral. I knew why it went viral because women are always trying to hate on males' friendships. And the reason women hate on male friendships is because most of the time, guys keep the same friends forever. We don't really make have to make new friends. We don't really have bad breakups with our friends. It's very, very rare. Whereas women, for the most part, break up with their friends all the time, right? Always got a new best friend every six months. That's my bestie. Now, that's my bestie. And they don't realize <laughs> the reason they always have to make new friends is because they move like this feminine-ass man. Now, like I said, let me get into it and explain to you guys why it's feminine. First of all, he starts off with, I just blocked indebted friendships with four of my homeboys i had back surgery literally a whole month ago and not one of those niggas checked on your boy first of all if the reason that you're blocking them is because they didn't check on you then what are you blocking them for 
let it breathe, run it back. If the reason that you're blocking them is because they didn't check on you, then what are you blocking them for? Blocking people is supposed to be what you do when someone is getting on your nerves, when they won't leave you alone. If you couldn't even get these dudes to check on you after you had back surgery, clearly the issue is not that they're bothering you and won't leave you alone. So you ask yourself, why would he block someone who's not reaching out anyway? Because he is feminine. Women will block people because they feel a certain way about an action that was done to them. And blocking the person makes them feel like they got back at the person or it gives them some form of power. Well, I blocked you. I blocked you out of my life. Like in their head, it's like they're hurting you somehow by blocking you. These dudes probably don't even know that they're blocked because supposedly they didn't even check on you after back surgery. So how would they know that they were blocked? This is a feminine way to deal with it. A masculine man would just go, oh, okay, I see how y'all moving. Y'all not going to check up on me, make sure I'm good. Then there's no reason to talk to you anymore. I'm not going to block you. I'm going to just stop talking to you. That's number one. All right. Number two, why did he tweet this? Let it breathe, run it back. Why did he tweet this? For attention, there's no reason to tweet this. None. There's no reason to tweet this. Twitter helps you with this, not at all. In no way, shape, or form does Twitter help you with this. In no way, shape, or form does Twitter even need to know this. Instagram, Facebook, whatever you want to call it, it's uh, what you might call it. Doesn't matter. They don't need to know it. They can't help you with it. They can't contribute to it. All they can do is give you a pity party and give you sympathy and make you feel better about what you're doing. There's only two reasons you would post this. One for attention, two for validation. You want people to make you feel like you did the right thing by blocking the men. You shouldn't need as a man other people online who you don't need, who you don't know, not you don't need, who you don't know to validate a decision that you made to make you feel better about making a decision. If you don't want to be their friend no more, you don't want to be their friend no more. There's no reason to make a show of it. Just like there was no reason to block them. So two feminine things, one blocking someone who's not bothering you, they're not even reaching out to you. And two, announcing it to social media to one, get attention and two, get validation for the decision you just made. I also want to point this out. He said they didn't check on me after I had back surgery. Now I kind of have a hard time believing that you told your friends you were getting back surgery and they didn't call you to make sure you were okay when you got the back surgery. But you got to pay attention and read between the lines. He didn't say they didn't call him to see if he had a successful surgery. He said they didn't check on him after back surgery. Let me tell you guys something. I had a friend one time, and he had hip surgery. I knew when he was having the hip surgery. So once the hip surgery was done, I called him. You know, we wrapped for like an hour. I made sure he was good. And then we went back to our normal talking schedule, right? If you know anything about men... Men don't often feel the need to check up on each other 24-7, all right? Like, we just don't. We get busy at work. We get busy with our families. We get busy with our lives. It's generally women who always feel like they got to touch base with you every single damn day, all of the time, right, to feel like y'all really friends. As men, we don't do that, and we don't feel that way. So it would be perfectly normal if a man calls you, right? Hey, you good? Everything went well with the surgery? Yeah, I'm good. You know, I didn't have any setbacks. Everything seemed to be fine. Oh, okay, bet. And then they don't say nothing. That's normal behavior, guys. I have some friends, right? Not every relationship's different, right? I do have some friends who they reach out a little bit more, right? But I have some friends, right? One of my best friends moved, moved to Houston. I probably see him now two times a year, and I probably talk to him probably about six or seven times a year and we got a group chat every now and then we'll say something in the group chat right but every time we meet up it's like we never left right there's no nothing it's like we never left right i got friends back in new york i probably see them two times a year right i probably talk to them you know a couple times every couple months but every time we hang out it's like we never left and when we need each other we're there for each other i got two friends who are married right I don't see them as much. I don't get to talk to them as much because they marry. But every time we hang out, we never miss a beat. You get what I'm saying? So I'm saying that to say, as a man, if you came out of surgery and you felt like you needed more support or you wanted your men to check on you more, you wanted your homeboys to check on you more than they traditionally do, then you should have articulated that. Because generally speaking, men don't check up on each other like that. We just don't. We just don't. We assume we're good. 
And if we're not planning to meet up or actually do something, we might not say anything. Now, again, I have one friend, you know, he usually calls me once or twice a week and we have longer conversations, right? But most of my friends are not like that. <laughs> like most of us, like I said, we talk probably once every quarter. For y'all who don't know how quarters work, a quarter is every four months, basically. We might talk and hang out every four months, but it doesn't matter because, again, I know there's friends who they've been in a situation they might have needed some money or needed something from me. I gave it to them. I know they're going to give it back. I might have needed something. They give it to me. They know I'm going to give it back. We got each other like that. It doesn't change anything. So if you need more validation and support, right, you need to articulate that. All right, like I told y'all, my friend got hit her every year. I called him. Yo, everything good. We rapped for like an hour or two. I went back to my normal schedule. I didn't call him again for like a month. Not because I didn't care, but just because I'm busy. Right? We as men are not programmed to just check up on you all the time. That's not how we think and that's not how we operate. Right? Now, for those reasons, and like I said, I think he's capping about this whole story for attention. But for those reasons, I think the way he handled it is feminine. Right? Now, of course, women are the ones who made this go viral. So it's a whole bunch of women, you know, they're reposting it. I don't see the problem with him cutting him off and men need to protect their mental health and stop tolerating the bare minimum. And I've been saying for a while that this is the only reason male friendships last so long because they have no expectations of their friends. This is something women like to say all the time. They claim male friendships are fake and we don't really have each other's back and we don't hold our friends to expectations and that's why our friendships last long, right? So I seen a girl running with that angle. So I just wanted to explain to her, right? That that's not what the issue is. So the same stuff I just said in this video is essentially what I posted to her. I said, no, it's not that men don't hold each other accountable, right? Because she was basically saying men are calling this man feminine because they don't hold their friends accountable and they don't know what a good friend is. And I was like, no, that's not why. Now, I'm not the only man who said this. Several men said this on her post, but I digress. I said, no, that's not why. The reason men are calling it feminine is because he, one, went to social media when there was no need to go to social media. If you want to cut someone off, just cut them off. All right. Two, he blocked them, which, again, was feminine. If you want to cut someone off, just stop talking to them. There's no reason to block them, especially when your claim is that they weren't reaching out to you. Right. And three, a lot of men feel like if you got a problem and you feel like you needed more support, then you should just articulate that. Hey, man, I just got out of surgery. You know, I know normally, you know, we just talk when we're about to link up and hang out and catch up. But considering I just got out of surgery, I expected a little bit more support from you guys. I expect you all to check up on me a little bit more. Just tell the homies that if these are really your friends and you've been friends with these dudes for years. Just tell them that. Of course, the women come in and they get all mad. And ain't nobody about to teach you how to be a good friend. And you got to protect your peace and da 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 and blase, 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 right? And all I said was, which was the truth. I said, you know, this is why women have new friends every six months. Because instead of articulating to your friends when you have a problem, y'all just cut them off, get in your emotions, make stuff up in your head, and then block them. Like, I remember one time, right, when my ex a while ago. I had to repair a friendship with her and one of her friends because she got added to with one of her friends because one of her friends couldn't show up for her birthday, right? So as a result, even though she didn't have anything to do on her friend's birthday, she purposely didn't show up because she felt like you didn't show up for my birthday, so I'm not going to show up for yours. Then they stopped talking to each other because they both felt the way because they didn't show up for each other's birthdays. Now, me, being the masculine man that I am, I'm like, yo, y'all been friends for mad long. This is a stupid reason to end a friendship. Like, y'all could just have a conversation about it. So I reached out to the other girl. She then reached out to my ex. They ended up reconciling, right? And this is what we're talking about as men when we say if you have a problem, you should just say that. If you feel like I think whatever you were doing wasn't important enough to skip my birthday, you should have articulated that instead of just skipping her birthday. And she should have articulated she wasn't talking to you anymore because she felt the way because you skipped her birthday without an excuse. Y'all should have talked is my point, but y'all didn't. Y'all just stopped communicating with each other because y'all petty and y'all act like kids. When a conversation could have ended it all. She gets mad at me and goes, oh, what? You're making it male versus women. Don't bring that podcast crap to my page. What the hell does a podcast have to do with what I just said? Those, listen, Kevin Samuels got y'all in the chokehold. Again, the man has been dead for two years. And to this day, anytime a man disagrees with a woman, y'all bring up Kevin Samuels in podcasts. 
All I was trying to do was explain. You saying, I don't have time to teach no one how to be a good friend. Everybody's version of being a good friend is different. Me personally, when my man had his hip surgery, again, I called him when he got out of the hip surgery, and he was fine with that. He didn't feel like I needed to check up on him any more than I normally do outside of checking on him to make sure that his surgery was successful and he was okay. We have that understanding as men. You get what I'm saying to you? Everybody is different. So if you're the person who wants more support from your friends, this is why it becomes necessary to articulate it because everybody doesn't know that. Every friend's not the same. Every friend group's not the same. Every person doesn't have the same expectations. But if this is really your friend and y'all been friends for years, why just stop talking over little petty stuff when you can articulate? Somehow she turned that into podcast when I didn't say anything about damn podcast. <laughs> and then she turns it into misogyny. And I sound like I hate women because I made it man versus woman. I didn't make it man versus woman. What I did was explain to you why women are sympathetic for this guy, but a lot of men are not. And they look at him as feminine, right? Now, mind you, this is the woman who I was arguing with. <laughs> A woman who posts stuff like that, and she's also a single mother. So listen, take it with a grain of salt. My point here is you're not dealing with too much logic. You're dealing with a 304 who's also a single mother. But I'm just trying to articulate to her and the other women because every man who agreed that they felt like this was feminine, the woman kept arguing with them. I'm taking the time out of my day to try to explain to them why there's a disconnect. They're getting mad. You sound like you hate women, blah, 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 blah. How the hell I sound like I hate women? Now, this is the most egregious part. The best gems come for those who stay to the end. I repeat, the best gems come for those who stay to the end. This is the most egregious part. It's bad enough she ended up trying to go back and forth with me and get into all this. this you sound like you hate women and blah, 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 blah. Tell me why. Another man came in there and he had the nerve to say, and I quote roughly because he ended up deleting his comment, but I quote roughly, he wanted to come in there and say, oh, bro, what does this have to do with masculine versus feminine? And this just shows that men will tolerate the bare minimum. And I feel like some of y'all really do hate women. And y'all just come out here to argue with women and blah, 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 blah. And all this other extra shit. A grown man telling another grown man that it sounds like that grown man hates women because he said this is why y'all friendships don't last. Because y'all don't communicate, you don't articulate, and you always run to, I'm just not going to talk to you anymore, or I'm going to block you. This is why you have a new friend every six months. How the hell does that imply I hate women? See, let me explain something to you, and this goes back to what I said at the beginning of the video. You dudes think because when you come online and you go viral for saying stuff like, I blocked these dudes and I cut them off because they wasn't my real friends. Y'all think when women hype y'all up for doing that? That that makes you more of a man or that makes you a real man. You get that little good boy pat on your head. And I agree with you. You're emotionally intelligent. You're not like the other guys. Y'all think that that makes women like y'all. Just like this dude decided to come on this girl's page and argue for the sake of her when no one was even talking to her. No one was talking to him. He decided to come and play Captain save a for no reason. Talking about how I seem like I hate women and all this other stuff on her behalf. He thinks that makes him a real man. He thinks that's going to get him brownie points. Here's the thing. Y'all think she replied to him and said thank you or anything like that? Nope. <laughs> she didn't even read his comment. Didn't even like his comment. Mind you, when I came in there and just tried to explain this is why y'all not understanding it, she took the time to argue with me about it. Go back and forth. Claim that I hate women and all this extra stuff. What do I tell you guys about chicks all the time? If they give you an emotional response, that means you can smash. What's my point in saying that right now? She came to argue with me because she's seen a masculine man saying, no, you're wrong, and this is why. Instead of backing down when she said, no, I feel like men tolerate the bare minimal, I explained to her why in a man's head this is not tolerating the bare minimum and why it needs to be articulated. That is masculinity. That's standing on your square. That's not simping. That's not ass kissing. That's why she replied to me. You understand what I'm saying to you? 
She didn't reply to him because he don't even know who the hell she is. And he's coming here arguing with another grown man on her behalf, trying to play Captain Save a Ho when no one asked. Here's something y'all don't even realize about a lot of women. They hate when men they have no attachment to try to protect them. They don't like that. They go, what do you think? I'm a damsel in distress. I don't need your protection. I don't need your supervision. They actually don't like that. This is why he's in Facebook comments defending random women trying to get laid. So what I said to the dude, I was simply like, listen, bro, she's not going to sleep with you. Like, there's no reason for you to come in here coming at me like this. I don't even know who you are. I'm not talking to you. And I said, which is the truth, I've done more for women than every single woman and man on this post combined, which is a fact. Those of you who've been subscribed for a while already know I have a female mentorship program called Sassy that mentors women from ages 10 to 15. We teach them professional dress, how to write resumes. We give them free tutorship for their middle school and high school. We tell them how to put together college essays. We talk to them about how to walk in heels. There's all little things women need to know to be successful. No one on that post ain't did nothing like that for women other than run their mouths online, right? So I'm just telling the truth. I don't hate women. I've done more for women than anyone on this post. I'm just explaining men move one way, women move another way. And that's why there's a disconnect here. What the hell are you talking about, bro? <laughs> and I was saying, I was like, my point is, women always run to block someone or cut someone off the first sign of conflict. The first time someone doesn't do what they expect them to do, what they want them to do, instead of talking to them about it and giving them the opportunity to fix it, hence why they have new friends all the time. I said, now she's going back and forth with me. She's probably going to block me for disagreeing with her, right? I was like, and that's just going to prove my point. Because I didn't disrespect anybody. So what the hell are you blocking me for? Simple, because I'm saying something you don't like. You got to have yes men around. You got to have kiss asses around you, which is not a real friend. A real friend corrects you when you're wrong and is not as afraid to articulate to you when you're wrong. Now, did the woman end up blocking me? No, because she couldn't. I play chess, not checkers. Once I said she's going to block me and it's going to prove my point. It eliminated her ability to block me because one, if she would have blocked me, it would have proved my point. But also it was a double entendre. I also knew she wasn't going to block me because like I just told you, if women argue with you, it's only because they like you. Women do not argue with men they don't like or respect. The same thing with the Courtney situation that I was telling y'all about. She's arguing with me because she likes me. If I was really ugly or incel, there would be no argument. I would just be ignored. Like he was ignored when he came to play Captain save -a and I explain this stuff to dudes all the time and they still don't get it. You came in here to save her. She didn't even give you a reply. I came in here to tell her why she's wrong and she's going back and forth with me. Who got more attention at the end of the day? The simp or me? It was definitely me. Dude gonna then delete his comment talking about some old bro, you're talking to a brick wall. So you can type all that, but it doesn't mean anything. You shouldn't be arguing with no woman. And I want to end you guys with this. You know what's one of the most misogynistic statements you could ever make? And after I said this, he deleted his comment again. Because <laughs> I don't know why people choose to argue with me. It's an argument you're not going to win. But anyways, y'all know what's one of the most misogynistic comments you can make? And someone timestamped this for me. Again, the best gems code for those who stay to the end. One of the most misogynistic statements you can make as a woman or a man is that a man shouldn't be arguing with a woman. You know why? Because that theory... Right. That idea that men shouldn't argue with women comes from a time, a place and an energy of misogyny. The reason they used to say as a man, you shouldn't be arguing with a woman is because as a man, you should be looking at a woman as a child, a.k.a. less than you, a.k.a. not your intellectual equal, not your equal at all. So it's not worth arguing with her because you're above her. You're better than her. And she doesn't know anything. So when she wants to jump in the conversation, you go. Okay, girl, and you ignore her. For those of you who've been following the channel for long enough, you know. When me and my ex went to Barbados, what did I tell you guys? Every time she spoke, they just looked at her and smiled and spoke to me instead. And she said that was the first time in her life she ever felt like she wasn't even in the room. She didn't exist. When you say men shouldn't be arguing with women, that's what you're implying we should make American women feel like. Like they do in Barbados or like they do in India. Where when a woman opens her mouth, everyone looks at her and cheeses and goes right back to talking to the man. Because a woman shouldn't be speaking to a man at all because they're not our equals. 
It's one of the most misogynistic things you can say and completely stupid when your argument is the man being me is the one who hates women. I'm debating with her because I don't view her as beneath me. I don't view her as any intellectually less capable than I am. So I'm trying to explain to her why men think this way because I'm assuming she can comprehend this. You telling me I shouldn't even be arguing with a woman implies that I should know better than to think she can comprehend anything on my level. So who really hates women? And I once again said to the dude, she not gonna sleep with you, bro, so it's no point. And that's why I wanted to make this video, because I wanted you guys to realize, in any scenario as a man, when you're running the social media, social media talking about your personal life, I had to cut this girl off because she did this. I broke up with my girlfriend because she did that. I'm getting a divorce because of this. I cut my friends off because of that. It's feminine. It's no reason for a man to do that. Men don't explain their moves. We don't look for attention for our moves. We don't look for validation for our moves. We just move. We just move. This was a whole move to do that. And when you look at how many women are backing this move up, it tells you that it was done in feminine energy. Look at the dude who came and argued with me, a simp who just wanted her attention. She'll never talk to him. She never talked to him. He came and stood up against me for her and she didn't even give him a reply. She didn't even give him a reply. The same as when I got into it with Courtney. It was a dude in my replies talking about some, a 40 year old rapper on YouTube talking about some, let me know who he is, sis. I'll go handle him for you. She didn't even reply to him. But guess whose chat she was in arguing about why I called her mid? Mine's. I will continue to tell you guys and you will continue to not understand. You never get anywhere with women by kissing ass. They can tell you you need to be more emotionally vulnerable and understanding and all that other extra shit. But the dude that they end up with is always going to be a strong, old school, masculine man who's not afraid to tell them when they're wrong. And as long as you simps, this is why I call y'all the elite fleet. Because you got to be an elite man to really get submission. Because a simp never gets submission. And the reality is half of men will always be simps. So you got to be strong enough to ignore the simps and ignore the women trying to feminize you and beta ties you by a thousand cuts and remain masculine and remain strong and stand on your square air regardless of what. And most men can't do that. That's why he's in the comments trying to defend her and she's in the comments going back and forth with me because she respects the man who stands on 10 toes down on what he's saying more than the man who's talking like a woman. This is why I don't have a problem finding quality women. And a lot of men do. Because y'all don't stand 10 toes down on your masculinity. You don't require anything. You're afraid. If I say the wrong thing, she's not going to like me. I don't give a shit. I'm going to just say what I want to say. And all I'm really trying to tell you guys, and this is why I tell you guys there's no such thing as game. Just be yourself. All I really be trying to give you guys is the confidence to just stand 10 toes down. A woman talking about man business, right? They shouldn't even care about our friendships. You have the right to tell her ass, no, you just don't understand because you're a woman. And she block you, she block you. The hell with it. There's plenty of fish in the sea. There's three women for every one man. Move to the next one. But stop kissing ass. It gets you nowhere. Just makes you look bad. Stand on your square, ten toes down. At the end of the day, if you do have a problem with your girl, your wife, your homeboy, whoever, there's no reason to put it on social media. Just squash it. If you want to cut them off, stop talking to them. Move on that way. No reason to put it on social media. It's a waste of time. Either way, that's my thoughts on that, y'all. I am Alex and I am out. Peace.